fascinating. Is besides the onion of firs, we have some types of ju some types of juniper and uh, more pine trees. Well, while we have a minute, I'm on my horse here. We're doing another ride here, and this is my horse down here. He's this is Palomino. He's a good horse. I got an excellent guide here too. There's the rest of us going up there, and the other folks in back of us. So it's going to be a pretty easy trail here. Hopefully, uh, no injuries or anything there. So it all looks like it's going to be be good here. And the sun is out. The sky is clear and uh, hopefully it'll be a beautiful day. A little chilly here in the morning, but it's going to warm up and I'll take some layers off because I'm already starting to get warm. All right. Hey, we're still on the horses. And we're going to the Mirador viewpoint. And this is up there. So we're down here and all the trusty steed here. So we're heading down here and I need both hands to hold on here. So I'll turn the camera off. And here's everybody getting down off their steeds. He had me get off without using the step. And I made it, so I felt pretty good about that. So here I am, I'm out here in the woods. We're gonna walk up a trail. Hope it's not that trail you see back there, because that looks scary, scary trail. So hopefully it's, it's one down here, it's a little bit easier, but we shall see, all right. M1 Man Travel, signing out. See you later. You can't see me smiling, but I am here. All right. Well, after a super steep climb, and I'm talking steep and narrow, we made it up to this first point where we see some butterflies. And I hope you can see one on the camera. They're pretty much flying all around us here. Look up in the sky. Oh, one just flew by my head. Maybe they'll land on us here. I got to talk quiet. They're actually all in this tree right over here. There's lots of them. Can't get any closer though, so as close as we can get. But uh, I'll try to take some pictures with my other camera. But my legs are still a little sore when we climb up. Well, up here in the butterflies, we have another visitor down here. See a little trail dog sitting down there in the shade. There's some butterflies right here. Right there, there he is. And the leaf. And he's just staring him down. It's a very contest here. Yes. There he is. But there's all the other ones out there. They're flying around. All down in here. Butterflies galore. We're looking into the sun here, so it's a little more difficult. But uh, we're up on this trail here, and we're at the end of the trail. It's a very steep climb, very narrow. And here's my shadow, the shadow man, up here with the butterflies. He's on every trip, shadow man. All right. We have to be quiet up here. And we're pretty much the only ones up here. There were four other people that we saw coming down but it's nice and we have to go down the steep part and uh, I don't know how my legs are going to hold out my calves are sore but it's very steep and then we get back down to the horses So I'm up in the bushes right there. 
They're all flying around us too. Down here at the bottom, you can see all of them down here, all the shadows, all of them. They're active now. I wish I was as active, but there's always hope. There's another dog back up there too. Remember we had the black one? Now there's that one. So I don't know where the other one went. The other one's over there. He's down in there. And there's one up here. And they're all sleeping. A couple dogs. There's another dog up there too. Yeah. And this guy's down here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A little bumblebee on my hand. There it is. It must be a different, like a smaller variety of a bumblebee. He's checking it out. Did you see the proboscis? It's not the nectar. How can it be? Okay, so that was the female. And this is the male because it has these two dots. You can see those two dots right on it. That's the male. And that's the female. And there's some other different variations in there too, but the dots are the easiest part to see. All right. Now oh, it's quite far away, but you can see up in there, much, much more up in those trees. But the trail doesn't go up there, but those trees up here, even up here, are full of the butterflies. And down in here, all flying around those trees in that area. Well, I'm taking a little break here after lunch. We did the horse ride up, which you saw in a couple of the vids. It was like 35 to 40 minutes on the horse where there's a guy leading you. And you get up to the end of where the horses are. Then you had to walk quite a distance. And then after that, you had a very narrow path. It was very steep, very steep going up and narrow. And uh, it was hard, but we all made it and there were no falls or didn't lose anybody down the hill. And the part where you see the butterflies today and was a very small area. It's just the actual path and you stop there and you can view them and you can't go off in the woods to, to see more of them. But there were still quite a few of them there. And then coming back down after we did that steep coming back down we had to do another uh, long walk mostly uphill to get back to where the horses are and then my calves so my legs are all stretched out from going uphill and then they're all compacted from going downhill so they're a little hurting on the calves there and we rode the horse back down and came back down, had a wonderful lunch. Lunch was really great. So I'm just relaxing here by this carved out pine cone here in this very nice area where we came to see the butterflies. And uh, we've got about a half hour here. There's some shops here if you want to see, but had good Mexican food for, for lunch and had the good Mexican breakfast too. 
So it's all good. All right. I'll see you all later. I get a little rest. I was able to take my mask off because nobody's around me here out in the open. All right. Bye-bye. M1 Man Travel. Don't forget.